I want the bob to be bobbing. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Nadula Hair. They sent me this unit to try for you guys. Now, before we get into this install, just understand that I had a little bit of mix up with my wig. It was a small mix up, but I'm gonna show you guys how I got my wig together. It's still a lot of bit of wig for a little bit of coin. You hear what I'm saying? Under $100 wig right here, y'all. Anyway, before we get into all that, let me get some water. <laughs> Before I get into the install, the specs, and what I think about this unit straight out the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. So like I said, this unit comes to us from Nadula. All the specs for my unit are right here on the screen, so if you want to check it out, you can. This is or this was, this was supposed to be their updated Bye Bye Knots wig. Let me show you guys the old and the new really quick. Okay, so before you had the normal knots, you could see those, but they came out with a new patented Bye Bye Knots for a more seamless look around your hairline and not so visible knots on your wig. Now what they sent me was supposed to be an example of the old wig and the new wig. As you can see right here, I don't have a new wig. <laughs> Unfortunately, mine got messed up in shipping. So this is technically the old version. This may also be a larger parting space. Initially, I think it was like a six by four. Now it's a seven by five. So you get more parting space across the front. I already showed you guys in the packaging portion of this video, but here it is again. You know, it gives you a little bit more parting options. So, you know, that's good. It doesn't really have a strong chemical smell in this unit. The density appears to be very nice and natural looking. It's not too thick, not too thin. And the hair feels, you know, it feels okay for Nadula. Okay, y'all know I consider them to be a fast fashion brand. Okay, always no disrespect. They know what they offer and what they give in. But but they stepping it up for the fast fashion girlies, okay? They're giving you a little bit more, but keeping the price the same. Please understand, if you are buying a wig for $100 and it's a human hair wig, that wig is gonna act like it's $100, eventually, okay? So take care of your wigs, especially the fast fashion ones. Take care of them and they will take care of you. You can wear this one every day if you want to. Just make sure you're not putting too much product in it and you're not doing too much manipulation. Now I'm gonna show you mine straight out and curled up, just give you, you know, a different little look. But I want you to understand what you're getting. Like I said, this feels pretty good. Is it the softest? No. It has some roughness around the edges. You can feel it. But for the coin, she already with me. Now because I don't have the correct version of my wig, I also didn't have my, uh, my band. So I'm gonna use one that I already had on my wig. Are you worried about my husband? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Man, she read her to filth. I'm using my soft focus. Uh, finishing powder in the color creamy bronze and I'm going to tint my lace if you were paying attention to my last Nadula uh, Bob wig I had the 12 inch. This is a 10 inch I was telling you guys how I didn't really care for the knots being super bleached I just felt like it gave off a very wide parting space So for this one to not be bleached I feel like it still looks good for me and I can make it work my wig cap is listed in my Amazon storefront under wig and hair essentials, so you can check that out. Before I put this wig on my head, let me go ahead and give it a little <laughs> So I'm gonna do my dry shampoo and water. Just wanna make sure she good. I could probably use my hair freshener too. Let's put it on. Ah, babe. It's definitely fitting more Big Hit Associate based on how my hair is under my wig. I don't have it braided back down yet. So it's just kind of in a plait towards the back and under my cap. Was that a bunch of bars? But she is fitting comfortably. All right, that's how it's looking on my side. A little square, but y'all see how this is looking right here? Me, wig. I don't think I'm gonna have to pull anything out. We are gonna see. I can kind of just pull some down and work it like that. She is pretty even all the way around. I like it, I like it. Using my Nairobi mousse around the hairline. Uh-oh, no, no, no. No! Just like this. Swirl it up, swirl it up, swirl it up, swirl it. They did send me a brush. <laughs> I may need to pull out just a little bit right here in the front. Oh, that came out pretty easy, actually. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The tiny knots are there, okay? They just not super bleached. But again, I like how this is looking. Tie it down to the back. 
And now I have my new hot brush. Y'all already know I have the comb, you know, by Tymo, but now we got the brush. So let me turn this on. It heats up pretty fast. I'm gonna put it on 360 just to make sure I don't melt this wig. It's fast fashion. <laughs> but this may surprise me, so I ain't gonna judge it too quickly. Look at this. This thing is going. It's gonna brush through the hair. Ooh, any tangles or snags I have, they coming right out. I probably can make it hotter. Let's just do a little bit. Put it on 390. Not quite 400. Already? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me brush it up. Make sure I get my ends. I want the bob to be bobbing. <laughs> can it curl? Let's just see. A little bit, but it's more of like a straightener, so. I'll take it. It's responding well to the heat, so that's always good. I'm getting a little shedding. Ooh, I can feel that heat on my neck, child. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of makeup and then we'll come back and put some curls in this week. Okay. okay, let's take off the band and see how the hairline is looking. Not bad, but the hairs are a little bit too long. I'm gonna need to cut these a little bit. So I'm not gonna use my scissors because they're upstairs and I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm gonna use my razor just to trim those off a bit. It's a very dull razor, but it gets the job done. That looks good. <laughs> I could definitely rock this wig glueless. Y'all see how it's sitting on me, but I feel like it's sliding a little bit. There we go. I had a smidge of too much forehead and I had to get that straight. What was I saying? Uh, glueless. I could definitely rock this unit glueless, but for the styling that I wanna do, I wanna make sure my wig does not move. This spray comes off with water, so it's not glue, okay? It's a melt spray. Melt that down, just like that. Where's my blow dryer? Not plugged in, child. I'm gonna brush these so they're not crunchy looking. Pretty much made me a wispy hairline. How'd I look? I know, my lace is somewhere in there. There it is, it's like right here, you can, right? There it is, have these hairs coming down and covering that up. There's that lace, right up in here. Y'all see it? I'm gonna do a little bit of my contour around my hairline. I use the Juvia's Place foundation stick in the color Catsina. Tap some of it off on some paper. Tap it around my hairline, like so. Now under my studio light, she gonna look real melted. Go outside, stand in some natural light, not the direct sunlight. If you stand in sunlight, it's gonna blend, okay? The sun is a natural filter as well. Stand in some shade. Okay, some shade where the sun is right in front of you, that's gonna tell you how other people see your lace. When it comes to our own eyesight, we see what we wanna see, okay? <laughs> but Brenda, <laughs> she gonna see a line. Put that behind the ear. I didn't put no powder in my parting space, I just did the, the powder under my lace and it seemed to have worked out perfectly. We're gonna put some curls in it, just hold on, hold on. I just wanted to show y'all the simple look first. Would you look at this? You better do it. I should change my earrings, shouldn't I? Mm-hmm. Get up close so I can see my hairline. Yeah. To the back, let's see. Okay, nothing crazy. Now when I stepped outside, you will see that halo effect around your hairline. Case in point, right here. You see that? I'm in the car, not really giving the looks, so. <laughs> so I had to come back in with my contour and go a little darker. You see the difference? Thank you. Your lace color may be a little off. You can't really fix that, okay? It's not skin, it's a fabric. You can only blend it down as best as possible. So if it's a little dark, that's all right, okay? But if you want it to be a little light, again, do your thing. Okay, beginner bay. I, I personally think so, okay? Just get your hairline together how you want it. You don't gotta do all this if you don't want to, okay? I say all this just because some people would be like, you know, that's too much work. So if you just wanna put it on and go, then do that, okay? This gives it a more natural look for me. And for you if you do it, but specifically for me, okay? The hair feels really good. I mean, thank you to my brush, but the texture of the wig definitely took the heat really well. It's giving healthy hair. Go ahead and pose on them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some curls. Again, she is seven by five. So seven inches across the front, five inches to the back. It is shorter on the sides than it is in the middle. To get more part in space or get a deeper side part, just go ahead and cock your wig to the side, okay? I'm not gonna have like a dedicated part, so I'm kinda just putting curls in here. Got my cheap little curler right here. 
I'm just adding some, a little bit of a bump in the hair. There's no layers in this wig, so if you wanna cut some layers, you can definitely do that. I'm not though. I want waffle fries. <laughs> I don't know why I thought about that when I said that. <laughs> Brush that over like so. I know I'm all over the place, but that's what gives me the look that I want. <laughs> hold it, hold it. Using my Tresemme Extra Hold Hairspray. There we go. Do a little bit more contour right here in the front. She a little ashy looking, I can tell. Just add a little bit more body, that's it. That part just doesn't wanna stay over, so I'm just gonna rock it like that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay y'all, so here is the final look. Again, nothing crazy, add a little bit of body with the curls, and uh, this is how we are sitting. She look good, she look healthy. Again, it's not a super high quality wig, but it's giving high quality looks, I must say. The one that they made in between there, that's what I feel like I got, because mine had a little bleaching up in here, but not a whole lot, and mine did come with tiny knots, so, again, I feel like this looks good. $93 human hair wig. On that note, <laughs> I gotta go. I'm pretty sure that's Kenny texting me now. So let me go ahead and get up out of here so I can go get my man. Mm -hmm. Shout out one more time to Nadula Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and the coupon codes for this unit down below. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.